Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Pepper Baker and I'm Richard Ransom. We start tonight with packed polls across Memphis and Shelby County as early voting begins in Tennessee. Black churches across the nation have a long history of mobilizing voters in their communities. But turnout has often struggled during elections, especially in Memphis. Today, one local church held a prayer circle outside one community's precinct, hoping to change that. ABC 24's Lauren Turman was there. Lauren, what was the message for voters who were there tonight? Well, Richard and Pepper, faith-based organizations in the community have led everything from voter registration events, educational events, and tonight, a prayer circle that had roughly 100 people and voters who were there told me that they expect it will make a significant difference. In many cities across the nation, for many politicians, the route to winning an election has often been through African-American churches. And tonight, New Salem Missionary Baptist Church leadership did what they know how to do best, prayed over the election. Many times in the African-American community, we're a little slow about coming out to the polls, and I thought I would try to encourage the saints of Salem to lead in this endeavor so that others will follow. Their prayer circle brought together around 100 men, women, and children from all backgrounds. I realize and recognize that so many of our ancestors bled and died for my right to vote, so it is important for me to keep that dream alive and cast my vote. Many city leaders also came to the circle, reflecting much of what voters say they want to see in the next set of elected politicians, effort and honesty. In terms of the crime in this city, it's important to make sure that we have the right people in the right office to make sure that the right decisions are made for our safety and our welfare. Well, we have the right president in the House of Representatives because um, who's going to stand with us in these times of, you know, struggles. The long lines we saw today at most of the early voting locations are encouraging to the pastor of New Salem Missionary Baptist. He says his congregation will continue to encourage others to exercise their right to vote. Richard and Pepper, 